Hello everyone, it's the Upform team over here, and today we're going to go over another Google Form feature, specifically response validation. So today we're here to teach you guys how to use this so that you might be able to make better Google Forms for your business website or campaign. So just to start, we're going to obviously need a Google Form. So in this case, we are going to pick this Google Form that I already have up. And as you can see, this is just a template of an exit ticket where we're trying to ask our respondents or in this case team members to answer this exit ticket before leaving the meeting so when it comes to response validation the way that this works is that you cannot really submit a google form or you can't actually submit the form as a respondent unless you give the appropriate answer and based on certain commands there are only a few answers or in this case one answer that will be accepted. So the way we're gonna use it for our template here is to have a passcode that our team members will need to use or have on hand so that they can input into this exit ticket and therefore leave the meeting. So first thing we're gonna wanna do is have a question section where they can actually input this passcode. Okay, so we've just added a passcode section where it's a question and we want them to input, in this case, a short answer since our passcode is a word. Then we're just going to want to specify that they need this passcode before leaving the meeting. Just input the passcode below. Oh. Go to exit this meeting. Now, as you can see, we also want to require this since they need this to actually complete the survey. And from here, now it's just a matter of actually using the response validation. Okay, so at the bottom right corner of every question sec section, there is a three dot button, which you, once you've clicked it, will give you a drop down menu. Here we want to see the response validation button. We just hit that. And as you can see, a little section will now appear right below the section where your answer will be added. So in this case, we want their short answer text to follow certain requirements. So in this case, we want it to be actual text, not a number, not a length or regular expression. We want them to say a word and we want it to contain our corresponding passcode. But as you saw from this drop down menu, it can actually contain many things. It can contain, it can actually contain or it might not contain this word. It can be an email, a URL, but just for this case, we're going to make it something simple. Let's just take the passcode, lemonade. Now, for the last section, which is the custom error text, this is where you will be inputting a specific message that will appear if they get the passcode wrong. So, if you got it wrong, please check with your team leader for the passcode. So, if someone answering the response form were to get this wrong, this message should appear right somewhere in this question. And that's about it for response validation. That's all you really have to do to get the question going. Now let's just take a look at it to see what a respondent would see from their end by going to the preview version of this exit ticket. So go to the right corner, hit the I button, which once you hover over it should read out preview. And as you can see, it's going to require just some information. So we just want to put sample email at email.com. And then we have to input the passcode. So if we were to get it wrong, because we want to get it wrong the first time, just so we show you what it looks like, let's say we thought it was lemon. Wrong. As you can see, we got this little input message we have, which we had customized moments before. And as you can see, we can't actually submit it. The Google form won't let us. We have to get this right in order for this to actually be completed. And if you were to get it correct, on the other hand, as you can see, we input the text again it actually allows us to submit the form and we've actually finished answering it. And that's all you really have to say about response validation. Hopefully you can use it for your own business and your maybe your own meetings as well. Hopefully this also helps you get a better idea of how to use Google Forms to its maximum capacity. Be sure to like and subscribe this video. And if you need any more help when it comes to Google Forms or anything that you might need in terms of marketing and business tools, be sure to check out the rest of our channel, either using the link in the upper right corner of this video or any of the links below. See you next time.